Can Joshua fight? I know he's been fighting for a while, but like... It's like a dream. The four of us out walking like we used to. Enjoying this, are you? Gav and the others could be in danger as we speak. You're right. I'm sorry. Yote is a fine scout. If Candle was attacked, she will already have begun gathering information. Tabor isn't far. We should pick up the pace. I want to see how he fights. Does he actually use a sword or does he use his magic? Like he did when he was a little kid. Come on, enemies, show yourself. I want to see his fighting style. We can use the ruins to cross the ravine. Assuming they would allow it, the echoes have a will of their own. Yep, right here. All right, Joshua, fight. God damn. He's just using fucking magic, that's it. All right. Oh, oh shit. Fucking Joshua. He's only using magic, I see. What the fucking point is the, with the sword? Got some fucking Jedi's here. Goddamn bastards. Is it only them? Only two? What the fuck? I thought it would be more. Oh, I could, wait, can I go over there? Surely I could just go over here-ish. Holy fuck. We have another fucking side mission. Fuck. Now oh, that's more. I see more. Fuck. Titan. So he fucking kill himself. God damn it. Tell us about Yote, Joshua. She's strong willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better manners. Talking okay, shit to me now? I kinda like it, but... How you guys met? I wanna know how the fuck you guys met. Is she the one that helped you out? Is she uh, when you supposed to be dead? Who the fuck needs help here? Who are you? Oh. You're injured. What happened here? Where are your comrades? <laughs> Ether flood up ahead. It swallowed our camp while we slept. My own men did this. Turned every last one of them. There's a village not far from here. Tabor. The people were kind to us. It's only a matter of time before they won't stand a chance. We can't let those monsters reach the... Hoko, you catch your breath. 
Thank you. Our encampment is up ahead. Just off the track. They must not reach Tabor. Forgive me, Lord Kuka. Rest well, soldier. God damn it, that music just came out. <laughs> that fucking music about the side mission. God you said it. the encampment was close. Let's hope the Akashic is still there. Fuck. Uh, the mood. The mood of that fucking music. Another ether flood. They're everywhere now. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful. We'll be careful. It sounds like they're poison. Oh. The chocobos. <laughs> They turn. Good. I got here in time. Come on, you fucks. Come on, come on. One more, one more. Here we go. This too easy. I don't know, maybe a fucking bigger monster is gonna come out later on. Is that actually it? Okay. I thought a bigger monster was gonna show up. Like some kind of guardian. Someone there! Please, I, I can't move my leg. What the fuck? That doesn't sound like an Akashic. How the fuck is he still talking? Where the fuck are you? Oh. Wait. Are you like around here? Did your leg turn into the Akashi, or you just got hurt? You're with the battalion? I am. I heard the fighting. Are the others taken care of? One of your brothers in arms told me what happened and asked for help. Another survivor? Where is he? <laughs> Tell me. His wounds were too deep. <sighs> He was right to send you. Those things you slew are no longer my brothers. Tabor is safe thanks to you. Here, you've earned it. You know, it's kind of weird. We're helping these bastard elves even though they tried to kill me before. You seem familiar. Have we met? You must have me confused with someone else. Wait. That skull. Son of a whore. You're Sid. I was there in Kosnis when you killed my brothers. I was there in Rosalith when you killed my commander. My war with Hugo Kupka is over. I bear no ill will toward those who followed him. And what of my ill will? Coward! Draw your steel. Lord Kupka shall be avenged! Fuck! No. When your wounds have healed and your head has cooled, come and find me if you must. 
Though I hazard your life would be better spent in service of those who need it. Or have you forgotten your oath to the Republic? My oath? What do you know of oaths? I know how hard they are to keep. Which is why I'm giving you the chance to keep yours. No. <laughs> I won't be deceived. Lord Kupka told us of your crimes. You are an outlaw. A murderer, not some... <laughs> Some... Man... Like you or anyone else? I am nothing like you. But if you're not gonna kill me, then go. Leave! Just know that I will find you, Sid. Someday. Uh... Are we gonna regret it? Is he like gonna do something? You know, like maybe later on in the story, like he's gonna come back? <laughs> I hope not. Fuck. Just when I said it, just when I said it about like him not knowing who I am, what I did, he fucking remembers the son of a bitch. He heard me. Wait, oh, there was actually animals here. Fuck it, damn it. Just when I just looking at them. Oh shit. Oh yeah, I could call them. Are you gonna say anything, Joshua? Huh? God damn it. We're nearly there. <laughs> Have you been to Tabor before? There are a few places I haven't. That'll do, girl. I <laughs> summoned you for no reason, god damn it. Welcome, travelers. We don't get many visitors here in Tabor. It looks peaceful for now. Where now, Joshua? There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within. Give me a sec, give me a sec. Are you buying or selling? Uh... No, no. Anything else? Go safely. Alright. Is she actually here? Oh. That kind of scared me. My Lord Marquess, it is an honor. I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Uh, of course. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. 
Your Grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Einherjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua. The Einherjar is the Royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva? Then it is Waluda knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them? Yes. And the Black Galleon sails at but one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave, Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened hulls choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The realm teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce. <laughs> Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. Not quite. How dare you! Distinguished members of the Council, you must forgive His Majesty this intrusion. What did you... What is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The king he has come to save us from the Akashic. He is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. <laughs> ha! So you do not deny it. Guards, fetter them, and see our guests to the dungeons! <laughs> worthy of salvation. The girl is still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Yes, your majesty. Come, Muthos. Surely the Prince's light cannot have sated you.
So then, how long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas' actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? The tapestry. Show them. Gate, Drake's breath, and now here. But what is it? It is old, ancient, even. Nought's remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apodotry meant, even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. That figure in the center. The one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it. Like you, Clive, which is rather inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. I don't suppose they do. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? By all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. Whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omiya lost Delan to his sag Ilith. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty, remember. If... if that is your wish, your grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... You have my word. Farewell, my lord, my lady. We are in your debt, Yote. Let's find our friends. It's plain she cares for you very deeply. And I her. Which is why I had to let her go. I thought the image was supposed to be Clive. You know, like Ifrit combined with a phoenix right, that we saw. Like, they like, combined like one. But no, who's fucking Ultima? Beckons. Who among you is bold enough to heed her call? Who the fuck are you? Is that blade for hire, perchance? Because I have a mind to make a killing. Figuratively, I hope. Well, yes and no. A passing caravan carried with it a rumor most fortuitous for one in my trade, that an elder Dread Evis had been sighted in the fields of Karava. Dread Evis are aggressive beasts. Compelled as they are to acts of violence, few survive to maturity. But those that do develop a hide of phenomenal value. A hide you want to sell? 
Eventually, yes. Though, I would have it tanned first that it might be crafted into marvels the likes of which the world has never seen. Dread Evis skin is a rare thing indeed. But the worked hide of a well-aged beast? Now, that would fetch such coin that Gilbot himself might weep with envy. Bring me that beast's skin and I will share with you the bounty of our combined labors. All right. I'll hunt your Evis. Of course you will. When one lives in such troubled times, it is a fool who lets opportunity slip his grasp. Leave Tabor through the East Gate, but take the path that branches west. Once you reach the checkpoint at Tovany, you are a mere stone's throw from the fields of Karava. I eagerly await your safe and, above all, triumphant return. I got fuck. I have so many fucking side missions. Some side side missions I can't do because they're in the. Can I even go them? Go to the other. Well, now I can. Fuck. Can I finish them first? Yes. I'm gonna try to finish them first. How are those new boots treating you? You there, this strapping lad. Finally. No one was paying me the slightest heed. Is something wrong? At the university, the students would hang on my every word. Sadly, this far from home, I'm just a vagrant greybeard. The university? You're a scholar. A specialist in ancient cultures, the most accomplished in all Valisthea, some have said. Not that I look the part in these tattered rags. In my heyday, no obstacle could have kept me from my studies. Yet here I am, a wizened windbag, bested by the many steps of Tabor. The answers I seek lying just beyond my enfeebled reach. Would you do an old man a kindness and brave the stairs in my stead? You'll be amply rewarded, of course. Climb the stairs and... And memorize a few inscriptions for me. Uh, assuming you know your letters, that is. Uh, some courteous soul is rumored to have carved clues to Tabor's rich history into stones dotted about the village. The three of them, to be precise. One each to the north, south, and east. I'm here in the hope that those carvings might shed light on a riddle I've been pondering for some time. Namely, the otherwise undocumented origins of Tabor's unique people. Uh, people quite unlike those of neighboring lands. I can't promise I'll remember everything perfectly. Remember what you can. I'll piece together the rest. Make for the domed pavilions, and you'll have no trouble finding the stones. God damn. Is this the stone? Children, children of hunters now took to the land. Reap her promise, blessing, and giving praise her gracious hand. Farmers must have settled here in Tabor. Okay, now I know what stone I'm trying to find. I was, I didn't know. Here's the second one. Where's the third? Oh, it's over there. The wonder of the golden plains lay your roots in stone, with the pride of recall a noble past, and make the rocks a home. What golden plains might the wanderers have called home, I wonder? Have you noticed the elders? I will not know which one is. 
which one is uh, like he told us to uh, like organize it like which one goes first very not tell me that what's this one we got the chillings we got the golden guardian guardian of the crystal first stone of tabo taber or tabor sacred hold by the noble blood till the end of the mother labor no history would be complete without mention of the mother crystals i should speak to the old scholar before i forget everything i've read <laughs> i already forgot <laughs> how are those Fuck. new boots treating you the engravings were in good repair considering their age Oh, what that I could have seen them for myself. Oh, come, don't tease me now. What did you learn of this place and its people? Uh, let's start with the engraving to the south, shall we? Oh, what did it say? Which one was the south? <laughs> I don't know which one was the south. Ah, uh, Guardian of the Crystal, Guardian of the Republic. The Great Google. Wait, wait, the Great Google. Uh, Wait. Oh, okay. It's a little bit, a little bit easier. The Guardian of the Crystal. I th I thought it was gonna be each and every one of them, but no, they they just they just give us one answer. Well, the rest is all it's just made up. God damn it. Guardians of the Crystal, the first stones of Tabor, sacred hold thy noble blood, till ends the mother's labor. I'm pretty sure that was it. Fascinating. It would seem the founders of this city were descendants of those fallen charged with protecting the Mother Crystals. But oh, whatever could have driven the Guardians so far from their sacred charges, I wonder? The engraving to the north is next, I think. Alright. Uh, see what they put? Voyage of the Ashen Ocean? What the fuck? Riders of the Snowy Slope. It's this one. Wanderers of the Golden Plains, lay your roots in stone. With pride recall thy noble past and make these rocks a home. Or, I think that was it, at least. No doubt you're right. There are vestiges of nomadic customs in Tabor its guardian roots could never account for. This is proving most enlightening. Now, for the final stone. Children of the hunter now sworn to serve a son. Fuck! <laughs> oh, I don't know which which one is this one. Fuck! I thought it was going to be easy because I remember about children. But they're both children. Oh, all of them are children. Fuck! Children of hunters? Okay, they got all children of hunters. Now titter up the land. Children are now dancing in their hand. In hand? No, it can't be that one. It has to be the middle one. Children of the hunters, now tillers of the land, reap her promised blessing and give praise her gracious hand. That's all three. And so, we add primitive farmers to Tabor's founding peoples, the final piece of the puzzle. Three engravings. One for each of the three peoples to have settled Tabor in ancient times. Guardians of the Mother Crystal, wanderers from across the plains, and last but certainly not least, hunters turned farmers. Little wonder it was so difficult to trace the roots of Tabor's culture. Those roots reached down through three distinct traditions. Nonetheless, one cannot help but wonder why this fact is not better known among scholars, given that the stones stand here for all to see. Too many stairs, perhaps. Ha! <laughs> Too many by far. Here, and thank you. There we go. We got 2,000. That's what I need. So that I could upgrade my... What's it called?
go. Let me break. There we go. All right. Oh wait, 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 wait. Where, where's this Sawyer bitch? Wait, how the fuck do I go over there? Do I have to go in this direction? I think, yeah, I think that's how I do it. Fuck. We travel here. Let me do this mission. What, what were you again? You're an eye for an eye. Oh, Joshua is still here. Is he not following? Uh, nope. He doesn't look like he's following us. <laughs> I think he's kind of like pissed off or something. Oh, he is following us. It shouldn't be too hard to find goods. Somewhere the around here. Oh yeah. I remember. I'm trying to find the merchant who's uh, talking shit to our merchant. How the hell did you find it? Sell swords in the bay. I know something more. What's it worth to you? Hey, Clive, listen. I found someone who says he's heard the rumors about Nan. Have you? Go on. Tell him what you told me. All right. It's like I said. A wizened old crone by the name of Karen's been selling steel to whoever will pay her price. Be they knight or knave. Says the more swords and spears she puts in people's hands, the more war they'll wage. And the more war being waged, the more call for swords and spears. And who will they all turn to to keep them in steel? Why, the good Reaper herself. <laughs> and you've seen this Reaper at work. Aye, it just so happens I have. You'll find her right here, plying her trade most days. Here in Delamil. Where exactly? She has a stall here in the market, but if you're not the patient type, you can probably find her at her storehouse on the edge of town. But it'd be a bolder man than me that braved that particular nest of vipers. Feeling bold, traveler? I hope so, for your sake. Now, if that's all, I have places to be. Sorry to have kept you. You don't think Nan's the Reaper, do you? Not unless she's discovered the secret of how to be in two places at once. Eh? What do you mean? Lady Karen hasn't left the hideaway in weeks. So who has been running this store he spoke of? Good question. I'll go and have a look. And I'll visit this storehouse on the edge of town. All right, but be careful, Clive. You too, Goots. It's, it's her evil twin sister. <laughs> That's who could, who could it be. Can I just... Fuck. I want to see who the fuck is running this show. Time to brave the viper's nest. I think it's a fucking ambush, isn't it? Just you, is it? <laughs> Thought I might have laid it on a bit thick. It was a fairly unconvincing tale. So, what now? That's up to you. Die a slow death, or a quick one. Boys, he's all yours. But that sword is mine. <laughs> Is this it? Leave now, and we can pretend this didn't happen. <laughs> Bitch. Sorry, bitch. 
Yeah, Joshua, shoot your magic. <laughs> shoot your magic, goddammit. Joshua, fuck. How come I don't learn that spell? Fuck. That will level up? No? Fuck. I'm so close. Oh, you've done it now. Go on. Tell me what I've done. When the Borgwin finds out you've killed his men, he'll have your head. He only wanted that bull of a manservant, the dim one always clinging to Karen's skirts. You weren't even supposed to be here. Who the hell are you anyway? What were you going to do to him? The Borgwin wanted him to get to Karen. I was only supposed to point the lump in the right direction once he arrived in Dalamil. But then you turned up. Well, go on then. If you're going to end me, end me. You're not worth the effort. Now be gone. Before I change my mind. <laughs> Fucking coward! I need to find Goot. Right now. Get your filthy paws off me, you naughty painted lout! Stop calling me names! And stop spreading them horrible lies about Nan! <sighs> well, that will be easy enough. For they are not lies. Every last word is true. And she must pay for her crimes in blood! <laughs> Lord! Goose, are you alright? <laughs> He... He's gonna kill Nan! He said she had to pay in blood! After what she did, it is only right. She ruined my life and the lives of countless others. That loathsome harpy's very existence is a crime, and I will not allow it to continue. Goots, was it? I have no quarrel with you. Only with your employer. Run along now. You need not pay for her sins. No. No? I don't care what she did. I won't let you hurt Nan. Promise me you won't hurt her. Or I'll... Or I'll... Or I'll kill you myself! Goot, no. Enough, all of you! But how did you? <laughs> You're a sight less clever than you think you are, the pair of you. Did you think I wouldn't notice the two of you slinking off together? Well, the whole thing got me thinking. Who in Dalamil might bear me a grudge? And a certain snivelling shit I ran afoul of in me fairy years came to mind. Though it was just Bogan back then, wasn't it? I thought the years might have taught you some sense, but I see you're the same pants-pissing craving you've always been. What was it we called you? Wet legs. You... you... bitch! Everything that happened... 
It was all your fault. And now you'll finally pay for what you did to me! Goose, you... If you want a piece of Nan, you'll have to go through me. Fuck. <gasps> you great galoot. Out of the way, I can handle this myself. So, wet legs, you remember what you told me when we last met? An eye for an eye? Wise words, sir. Wise words. And now it's time to collect. Sorry to keep you waiting. Is he... Dead? No. But I reckon he wishes he was. It's an easy going through life, one eye shot of a pair. After all, I should know. You don't mean... Oh, don't tell me you didn't notice. Lost it to old wet legs back when we were working the same routes. Said I'd stolen from his strong box. I'd done nothing of the sort, mind. But that didn't stop him taking his little revenge. So I took some of my own. Sorry lost everything. His coin, his clients. Always knew he'd be back one day to claim his due. But he crossed a line dragging poor Goots into this. He didn't hurt you, did he? No, Nan. Still got all my arms, see? Legs too. <laughs> but... What if he comes back again? What if he does? First we take the other eye, then we work our way down. He'll learn his lesson soon enough. But something tells me the wet legs has learned it already. Right. Let's get you back to the hideaway. You've attracted quite enough attention already. ta -ra, Clive! Remind me never to cross you, Karen. I had to go back to the fucking highway. I thought I completed the mission. So I could get, like, press, uh, like, I succeeded, succeeded the quest. God damn it. I have to go all the way back. 